How are you doing folks? It's Joe Value here for Cold Bear Sports on Christmas Eve. All the study done for Stevens' Day. So uh, hopefully things go away and we can show a nice profit for the start of the Christmas festival racing. And um, you know, I hope you all get a chance to see your family and friends as well this year. Just the year that's in it. It's been a fucking nightmare, hasn't it? And um, uh, some are not so lucky in isolation and all that crack. And... Uh, you know, just what can you do when you uh, mind yourselves, look after yourselves and uh, enjoy the racing. And I hope you enjoy these few winners that I'm about to give you as well. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, so look, the study is done and I've tried to be as selective as possible. Like there's so much racing on. Uh, as you know, there's about 70 odd races on or something like that. But uh, I'm the type of lad that likes to kind of pick his own battles and if I get it right, great. If I don't, uh, so be it. But uh, I'm not into that chase and lark at all. And then, um, you know, I learned that lesson a long time ago. Uh, just pick up my horses, have a good go at them. And if the win, great. And if they don't, uh, there's always tomorrow or the next day's racing, you know. <clears throat> so that's the way I work it. And uh, yeah, as I say, I've had a good look at the form and I'm going to go in the 120 at Kempton, a horse by the name of Mr. Coffee. Now, initially I thought this lad was a bit disappointing that he didn't win last time out, but looking back at it now and looking back at the video again last night, I just thought maybe two mile was uh, on the short side for him. And he did hang a little bit uh, up the home straight as well, hung out to his left. I say he might have been feeling the ground or something like that. It was a bit... Uh, it was a bit... Uh, quickest ground that day and um, you know under the circumstances I thought Mr Coffey ran well considering the winner of that race not available went on to Ludlow and uh, won as well so there's nothing really much wrong with the form although this lad is probably a lot better than he's shown that day stepping up to two and a half mile on ground that could, should be a bit softer to give him plenty of rain I think four to one nine to two is very fair about Mr Coffey and I'm going to stick him up there as a point win uh, going on to my bet of the day, my nap of the day, uh, last Royal runs in the 1240 hunting him. I really like this lad's run at Chepstow. Uh, he travelled and jumped beautifully uh, and was able to go with the front two when they quickened up the pace. This lad had every chance um, coming down towards the final hurdle. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just made a mistake at the wrong time and his run kind of flattened out a bit. But this uh, that was his first run of the season and his first run after wind surgery. And he did stick to his guns, you know, he nearly got back up to be second. The jockey wasn't very hard on him at all. And uh, I do think uh, he's going to step forward big time for that run. And I can see him winning here. Uh, the 1240 hunted him last trial and put him in there as a two-point win at 7-4. And I want to do a, a point each way double as well, Mr. Coffey and last trial. Uh, I do think them two, uh, well, they shouldn't be with the first three anyway. And... Uh, yeah, I give them really solid claims. And then uh, <clears throat> my final selection of the day, taking a bit of a flyer with this lad. Uh, I'm hoping he comes back to form a bit like a horse that I tipped up the other day at 14 to 1. I'm trying to think of the name of him now, I can't. But he was second anyway. Uh, ran really well. Uh, this, But then the 142 here, Flamingo, is a horse that uh, has more than enough ability to be very competitive in a race like this. Has to show his true form of late. But uh, at 11 to 2, with uh, first time cheek pieces on, I'm willing to give him a chance here for Jamie Moore and Gary Moore, who we know do so well around Fontwell. So I'm going to stick him up there as a point win at 11 to 2. So just a quick recap uh, Mr. Coffee in the 120 at Kenton, a uh, point win in around 4 to 1. Last Royal, 12 40, hunting on 7 to 4 shot, 2 point win. Do them two in a, a point each way, a double. And then uh, Flamingo in the 142 at Fontwell, 11 to 2, uh, one point win. Only three selections. I know Stevens is dead. There's so much racing, but you can just get buried in it. You know that kind of way. And uh, you'd be chasing your tail there. So I'm just going to just pick out three solid ones. I'm going to have a go at them. If they win, fantastic. If they don't, uh, there's always tomorrow <clears throat> or the next day's racing, obviously. Uh, and also, we have a good uh, anti post bet going there. I done. I suggested an anti-post bet in around this time last month. Uh, John Bond for the Supreme. You know he's done his best. He can't do any more than he's done. Uh, Alaho for the Ryanair. Uh, he's he's done his bit as well. Uh, happy out. And then Fildor for the Train Fordle. You now he runs on Sunday as well. So if he was to put up a big performance, he would really go a strong favourite for the Train Fordle. 
and uh, the, the treble was working out over 100 to 1 I think some lads were saying it was 140 to 1 but Skybet or something like that but uh, I went on the worst prices that they were at the time and it still worked out over 100 to 1 so uh, that's uh, be really nice now Phil Lord put up a big performance and we could definitely dream on then for the new year so there's no, there's no harm in dreaming lads you know because uh, sometimes dreams do come true <laughs> so uh, hopefully anyway if this one if this came true it would be some crack it definitely would uh, but anyway listen whatever happens have a great Christmas uh, you know it's a tough going people can't see their family and friends with this poxy virus that's going around but uh, you know mind yourselves and uh, so we'll come out the other side eventually of it and uh, hopefully everything will be sorted by Cheltenham and we'll all meet up for a, a big party be nice wouldn't it anyway Joe Valiant for Cold Beer Sports thanks a million for all the support the last six or seven months I've been doing this the support has been amazing and uh you know, it, uh, it's, it's been good, like, it's been a success, there's no doubt about that, and uh, hopefully, you know, we can keep it going, uh, and even improve on it uh, into the new year, you know, so, um, that's it, it's Joe Value for Cold Beer Sports, I'll be back, probably Stevens' evening, with a few selections there for the 27th, all the best till then, bet safe, uh, you know, don't try and stay away from the red mist, you know, especially Stevens' day and that, like, you could be in the pub having a few pints, and you're, you know, going at this, going at that, going at everything, I was that soldier a long time ago, and uh, there's no future in it, you know. Bet safe, enjoy the sport. Pick your own battles, do your few bets, and relax, enjoy the game, you know, enjoy the sport. Because it is a good sport, it's a great sport. All right, all the best, Joe Value for Cold Bear Sports.